nom nom nom. Turn this down a little. Is the music okay? This is such a cool song. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, but I'm going to play this song with my eyebrows, okay? And you're going to wonder, how does she do it? How does she play this song with her eyebrows, okay? I'm going to play it, okay? Now, listen. I played this with my eyebrows, okay? Listen, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't make me laugh, I can't wiggle my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm doing it to the beat, look.
Oh, my face hurts. Oh. I gotta keep going for my champions. I forgot I had it on loop. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, why is this song your ending? And then I realized I had it on loop. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, I don't want to do it again. My face hurts. Oh. I'm going to drink my juice. Wait, let me turn my uh, volume down a little. All right, how is it, Campbell's? Is it okay? Is my, uh, is it okay? Mm hmm. Let me get a better look at you. Mm. Oh, hello. I got my round and round pampers. Hello. I have a gun today. Yeah, I've got a gun today. Yeah. And I'm gonna go. Holy shit, my face is like, my face is like vibrating. <laughs> it's like actually vibrating right now. Oh my god. Oh. Is it unsafe? What's that? I don't know what safe means. They call, my gun is on dangerous. If, if you ask that, it's on dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. My, my face is like, actually, like, vibrating holy shit did you see how fast i was going i don't think i've ever gone that fast in my entire rabbity life in my whole rabbity life i don't think i've ever done it again oh my god i've never done it that fast and, and, and so determined too i think i set some kind of some kind of record you know oh my god oh my god I'm gonna have some juice, have some apple juice. <laughs> oh, heck it is. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Listen. Mmm. Listen. Ooh. Do you hear that, my juice? Listen. Mm. Oh. No. <laughs> Wait, listen. Mm. Yum. If you go in now, my juice box is gonna fucking shoot you. I don't know if I. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Damn, for you. Don't even try, okay? Don't even try. Okay? I'll shove a gun down your throat. Like, like, and then call you gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have a sip, okay? It will, if you, if you give it like, if you give it like, I don't know, like, 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours, I would have pissed it out for you. Okay, you get the scraps. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Are you drunk? No. I don't... 
Are you a tourist, perhaps? Actually, no, I, I, I don't think you are, but a lot of the time it's funny, like, do I act like I'm drunk? Like, a lot? Maybe it's just because I'm Australian, I don't know. Is it the accent? But sometimes when tourists come in, they're like, are you drunk? I'm like, no. I'm just rambly, you know? <laughs> I'm just nice. I, I don't see the issue, really, to be honest. Oh. Oh. Uh. Is she a VTuber? I'm new. Fuck off. Shut up. You make me very angry. <laughs> mm. Don't kick you. Uh, no, I wouldn't be. Fool. Oh, maybe it's because I like almost vomited from drinking my juice too fast. But like, that's just me being a rabbit. It's not me being like, you know, you know, <laughs> drunk on power. Sometimes it feels like it. Not that I have like power, but like it's it's very. I feel humble. I don't know. It's just a little bit of an ook. Ook, ook, ook. <laughs> Gorilla stream today. I just feel a little gorillary, you know? <laughs> I feel a little gorillary. I don't know. I woke up and I was like, I woke up and I was like, you know, I was, I was, you know, you know, I was, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can say this. Um, I was looking at some, like, <laughs> I have a, I'm looking through some of my archive folders, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe because you sound tired. Why are people saying I sound tired? It actually may- I don't know, are you trying to make me self-conscious? Do I actually sound tired? Is it not because I'm talking like a, like a typical, like... YouTuber? Like, oh, ignore? Oh, okay. You sound high, but I don't know. I can't- I'm not gonna play up my hypiness just for like... I don't know, just to like make people f feel like more entertained or whatever. Like I just get tired. What's up? What's up, guys? Cause you, cause you're a zoomer and you're used to people going like this. What's up, guys? It's me, kick again, back at it again. <laughs> you know, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, smash like. <laughs> Abuse that like button. Kick the bell. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I am a little bit tired, but I didn't think that would show. <laughs> Maybe it's the rings under my eyes. Have you heard about... Oh, oh that VPN's so shitty. I don't know. I don't see the point in VPNs, you know, honestly. VPNs are so stupid. I'm sorry, but like, I don't know. Really? Okay, if you're doing something illegal online... Think about how many other people are doing illegal online things. Are they really gonna single you out? I don't think so. Unless it's really bad. And then, like, pay for a better VPN. I don't know. I don't trust it. Especially if you're using, like, a link. Like a, like a, like a, like a YouTuber. A YouTuber link. I don't trust it. I bet, I bet that YouTuber has, like, the power to, like, Look at what you're looking at, or something. I'm not, I don't trust it. Yeah, just don't do crimes. Just don't commit crimes. But my privacy. Well, it's never gonna be private. My foot sore. I have like a sore foot. I I'm a bit nervous. Ow! I got a sore foot. It hurts. Ow! 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 I have a sore foot, it hurts. I'm cradling my foot. I've got a foot, maybe. <laughs> Ugh, it hurts. I, I accidentally, like, stubbed my toe. Today, I I got, I don't know. I don't know, I was a little, I got a little too cocky and I was, like, dancing around because I was a happy rabbit. And I, like, kicked my, um, my shelf. Um, that had, like, all my figures and stuff on it. And obviously, like, that's not budging. So it was either that budging or my foot, and you know what didn't and my my foot budged I guess, and and I just I just oh it fucking hurt, and now my like toes like a little swollen, it hurts. 
a little bit. Like, it's not, like, that bad. You know what I wish would happen? And I really... I don't want to, like, inflict pain upon myself because that's, like, stupid. But, like, something that I've really always wanted to do is, like, have you seen those videos of people? How they, like, accidentally drop, like, a brick on their toe or, like, they kick a toe or something? Or, like, they, or, like, they, like, they punch something and their nail, like, gets blood trapped under it? And they get like the like a pin, and they and they make it all hot, and they stick it in the nail, and blood goes. I want to do that. I want to do it to like my whole hand, and then like do it to each of my fingers, like and see which one like goes the furthest. Because I don't know, it looks so satisfying. Like I just wanna I wanna like make a competition and film it and like have like a tape measure and then see and then prick each of my nails and see which one like goes the furthest and maybe I could even like next time I could like do varying levels of droppage of like bricks under my fingers and then like the one that spurts the most I wonder if it will be like the heaviest impact or the lightest um or I don't know it's literally how they torture people no, it isn't. No, it isn't. They would do it. If they were to torture people, they'd rip the nail off. I'm not trying to rip the nail off. Like, it doesn't hurt either. If anything, from what I've seen in those videos, it feels like a nice, like, release because you have all that, um, pressure built up in your nail from the blood being trapped under. So when you put the pin in, it, like, releases that tension and that, like, pressure. And it feels really good. So, I feel like it would be a good thing. I don't know. Have you seen those cow hoof? Yes, the cow hoof videos. If I had hoofs, I'd do that. I'd do that if I had hoofs. I don't know, though. Maybe I'm a fool. How do you make that so quickly? What the heckity? They call it a juice hogging round. Champy. How do you make that so quick? Hang on, let me, let me pop it on screen. Dropping the brick on it might hurt slightly. Yeah, but it would be worth it for the end result that I'm looking for, which is the, the splurty. Splurty. I don't know. I don't know if this is gross, but like, what if it was like kind of infected and then it like got like pus in it and, and then the blood and the pus would... Oh, so, I don't know. Is that gross? I don't know. I feel like that would be satisfying. Look. Oh my god. It's the giggy tree. Look. Is it self-absorbed to- oh, oopsies. Is it self-absorbed to put a giggy ornament on the tree? Oh, I have an idea, actually. Okay, giggy, you can sit back there. There you go. Oh, look how sweet! Look how sweet giggy is. What you doing there? Okay, wait, I have an idea. Hang on. Oh, sorry, giggy. Wait, hang on. I have an idea. Okay, watch this. Look at this, this is such a good idea. Um, 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 it's disgusting. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. I thought it was a nice idea, but if you want to be, if you want to be a poo about it, I mean, you can, but, you know, I personally think it's a good idea, but okay. If you, if you want to be a poop about it, you can be a poop. Okay, look. I got, see, look at this idea. Look, watch this. Ta da <laughs> Giggy tree. See? Look, it's a giggy on the Christmas tree. The angel. Giggy angel on the Christmas tree. And I made this slightly smaller. I'm gonna put you on here too, Champy. I'm gonna put you on the Christmas, in the Christmas thing too. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I had that idea in my head, I thought it was cute, but how do you make those so fast? Holy heck, are they? That's very fast. Hang on. Um... Uh, what does your entire Christmas outfit look like? Oh, um... It's just, oh, it's just this little, um, coat thing, really. Um... I don't know, I want to have like a... Well, this is my Christmas outfit right now, okay? It's the coat, and then it's got the gun, and the and the, and the Burger King crown. You know, like, because it's a crown, and it's gold, so it fits the theme, especially of my room. And, plus, you know when, um, the, uh, what are they called? The, um, uh, shit, uh, the, uh, the little, um... 
things that you open up? What are they called? The uh, little uh, the you know the thing that you open the Christmas crackers. You know, in a Christmas cracker, how you get those little hats? Yeah, it's like that, but it's like it's for it's just mine. You know, why am I not using proper trigger discipline? So I'm ready if someone comes into my train. Especially, I heard I got word from my uh, champion that uh, maybe Grinch is on this train. And if he comes in, I'll shoot him. I swear to God, baby Grinch isn't going to hurt me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, what it looks like. Hang on, let me get rid of my gun for a second. I'll show you. So, it's got this. This is what the coat looks like. I'll do a little pose for you. There you go. <laughs> this is a, this is a pose for you. Yeah. It's got a little dress under it. I think it's very cute, if you ask me. Hang on. Did I? There go. <laughs> Alright, wait. One sec, one sec. Wait. One second. I gotta put my gun back. One moment, please. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. You can't be without your gun, especially on a train. You really should be armed. It's a good idea to be. Honestly. I don't know. Maybe it's this foolish idea. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Wait, let me pop it up a little bit. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, had to move me arms. What if you mistaken Santa for an intruder? No, no. Santa would say, I'm Santa, like that, so I know. If a Grinch baby shows up, I'll know because he's got this demonic little laugh he does like <laughs> I'll know, I'll know 100% he'll say, I'm a baby Grinch. I'll update, I'll, I'll have to make an update to my, oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, would I pop the pimples on your back that you can't reach? I mean, yeah, I would. I would. If you'd like me to, I could do that for you if you want. <laughs> I don't mind. I've never been like a person that's into the pimple popping stuff per se. I like, I just like the, uh, because really, if you want to get something very satisfying, there's better stuff to look at. It's a slippery slope. Tra uh, I was going to call you Trampies, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, you're not trampies. I love you. You're not that. No, it's a... <laughs> it's a... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a slippery slope. Because you watch, like... You watch the... You watch the pimple popping videos. And then you watch the... And then you're like, yeah, this is good. And then you go down the rabbit hole. And you look at, like, the cyst opening ones. And you're like... Fuck yeah, this is kind of good. And then you watch like the operation ones and you're like, yeah, this is good. And then you start watching like workplace accident videos and then you realize what you've been doing with your life for like the past like six months. So it's a very slippery slope, okay? But, you know, I don't, I don't really mind them. But I kind of like the bottom bit of the iceberg a little better, um, to be honest, if, if I'm talking about real satisfying things. But at the moment, I don't know, just something about the... <laughs> I don't know, you should watch the video, look up um, hot, hot needle in nail. And then and then you can look it up and it, and they just go Purr, like that like it's and then and then the person in the video is always like oh that feels so much better now because they get like that release I don't know yeah I don't know I'm good no you should because you think it would be gross and then you watch it and you're like yeah this is actually not that bad yeah the pimple popping pipeline runs deep I swear to God. What if we like rabbit holes? Rabbit holes? Well, me personally, I, I'm a bit of a domesticated rabbit. I don't dig rabbit holes. But, but, little man, little lady, my little baby rabbits like to dig holes sometimes. 
I don't know though. Yeah. That's not the torture thing I meant. No, I know what you're talking about. Like, if, if the nail's off and, you know, everything else. Yeah. What's the also one that they did? I saw it in a thing once. They, um... They, uh... They, like, uh... Puncture the eyelid and then they use, like, a, a, a blow dryer to, like, dry it. Or whatever. That's... That's a... I don't know. Actually, never mind. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> never mind. It, uh, it draining blood from a nail does indeed feel good. Done at least three times. Yeah, exactly. People talk about like what a release it is. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. What about Gigi Holes, the video? That's a good one. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arr, that's humble. That's humble. No, that's humble. That's humble. Yeah. Mm. Uh, to get your da -da -da fulfillment? Yeah, but what's the reason for the fulfillment though? For me, it's like satisfying and sometimes funny. I don't know. I don't know about you though. <laughs> Toothpick on the nail? I've done that before. I've done that before, actually. Actually, what I used to do is I'd get like, um, like a dental floss. Cause the good thing about dental floss is that it's like sanitary, so you can kind of just put it under and like go. Ee, 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 ee. I don't know. I just do it if I'm bored. Sometimes it feels nice, like in a in like a stingy way. I don't know. And then you can like get it off, like on your pinky nail. I don't know. I don't do it often though. My nails are fine. Honestly, the most painful thing I've probably done with my nails is remember when I got my nails done with my sister? I had to like, oh my god, it was so it was so horrible. I wanted them off me because I couldn't play like I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't like play with my controller. I couldn't type properly properly or anything like that. And it sucked. So there are these things that you like, like acrylic things that you stick onto the nail. And the thing is with them is that what they do is my nails are pretty short already. I like bite my nails a little bit. So basically what they do is they, is they file the nails down like extremely thin and then they'll put, so it's like thin anyway, but it needs to be like thin and dry, like for a base so the acrylic can stick to it and then they'll get this acrylic and essentially like oh no first what they'll do is they'll get the glue is the um they'll put the they'll put like the uh, the glue onto the nail and then they'll stick the nail on like a like a plastic um fake nail and they're always very long but then they file them down to make it like the right shape and everything and then so you've already got like one layer on your nail which is like the glue because they'll put like your clear coat on on top so you've got two layers of stuff and and the most horrible part is like the brittle nail underneath which is the shit that you're just like they're kind of building up and then after that they'll put the acrylic on and they'll kind of build the nail from there and then they'll file it all down and then they'll file down the acrylic and they'll like then put like the uh, the paint on it, which is like the color and everything else. And then you put two two top coats of um of of nail polish and stuff on top, and it's just like oh, so you've got all these layers on top of your original nail, which by the way they've like you literally file down a shit ton to stick the nail on. Yeah, it's essentially like a veneer for your for your fucking nail. It's ridiculous, and I don't know why these women will torture themselves every week to get them done because obviously the nail will grow, and then what are you gonna do? You're just gonna like. Then you have to take the acrylic off, and what they do to take the acrylic off is even worse. So they they'll get this um, acetone like nail polish remover. They'll put it in tin foil, and they'll put the tin foil around your nail and keep it there. So basically, the chemicals from the acetone will then like loosen up the glue, and then they'll file the entirety. They'll they'll try and take it off, and then they'll file the entirety of the nail down again, making the layer even thinner to build onto again. 
So at the end of the process, I mean, if you're doing it every like week or so for like a long period of time, your nails are gonna get so thin. So it's just like, oh my god, yeah, and and yeah, seriously, you can get very bad reactions to the chemicals. And I mean, they're on your nails. Your nails are like gonna be touching your face and skin. So people figure that out when it's way too late and they've got rashes all over them. But anyway, I had these nails on for I, I think a total of like. Like, maybe a day or so? Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I literally ripped them off. I ripped them off my nails. And my nails are very, very, very brittle for, for a couple of weeks after that. They had to, like, regrow. Do women know that men don't really care how their nails look? I think, if anything, and obviously I'm not a man and I'm not attracted to women, so... I don't really... I don't know, but from... From just an aesthetic standpoint and looking, you can tell a lot about a woman, like if their nails are very, very long or not. And I feel like if they're very long, it means they're probably like very high maintenance because they're getting it done. It also probably shows that they're very bad with their money because they're going every week to get their nails redone and they're very expensive. This is like a this is like a couple hundred bucks because they scam you too, the place that you're going to to get your nails done because they'll make you pay extra to get the nails taken off. And then like, oh, a treatment to make sure your nails stay strong, but really they're just wearing down your nail. And then like, so it's a lot of money. So they probably have poor money management or they're a whore and they've gotten the money from men. And also the long nails probably mean that they're like not really doing anything of value because they're not like really gonna be working with their hands. Probably not playing games or anything. Not saying that playing games is valuable, but if that's what people like, you know, it probably means that they're not gonna do it. Um, I don't know. It's a form of a weapon. Females with fake nails are trained as assassins. I feel like they are because my, my, like, I mean, also you can get the really, really long ones. My sister gets quite long ones sometimes. Not saying any of these is like for my sister because my sister's different, but <coughs> she's got, she's got kind of half long nails, but the thing is she makes them quite pointy on the ends. So there's been a couple of times where she's like gone near me and it like scratches you like i've had obviously cats scratch me many times but seriously a scratch from one of her nails are worse <laughs> i'm more scared i'm more scared than getting her like scratch like a scratch from from her with her sharp little nails on than like when i'm working with like a scary cat or something or a cat that's like very frightened it, it, it feels worse and they can draw blood too you know, they gotta protect themselves from the mean old men. They gotta make their nails really sharp so they can scratch them. <laughs> right, makes their hands useless. Useless, safe for tuggy. Tuggy, tuggy, ew! Why are you saying ew? Why are you calling it that? It's plastic and it's harder than natural nails. Yeah, it's a lot harder. You know what I mean? If you're putting something so hard on a natural nail, then it's gonna hurt. You know, it's gonna really, really hurt, and I don't know, it's just so bad for the nails. And you know what, also, um, it's the same with nail polish too, because when, um, people keep, like, painting their nails as well, the chemicals in the nail, and also the nail bed isn't gonna have time to just, like, you know, kind of, like, be out and kind of natural for a bit. So the nail polish will actually stay in the nail and make it yellow. So when like the girls will remove their nail polish, like it, it like it goes yellow and gross. Like if you look up um, uh, nail staining, it's like if you have if it's like if you drink a lot of coffee and you don't brush your teeth and your teeth go yellow. It's like that for your nails. It's like really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really bad. It's like um, it's like. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a yucky color. It's just very, very yucky. Yeah. The tips. Yeah, exactly. My nails go a bit yellow from the Siggy's. Yeah, mine did as well. It, like, kind of sucked. But, like, at least, like, I don't know. My my nails wouldn't really go go yellow. But my, f my little fingies would. Like, between my pointer and my middle finger would kind of go a little, um... A little yellow. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, but like with, but it looks just revolting with the um, with like the nail polish nails. It's like a different kind of yellow. It's like um, it's like almost um, like orange, and it's like all over the nail too. It's like really bad. Yeah, and the thing is, like you can like wash, you can wash your hands as well, and it's okay. Like with if you if you're doing smoky smoky, but with the nails, like <laughs> it takes ages for it to grow out and everything like that. It doesn't go out. Mm, it does. It just takes a while if you scrub it enough. You know what I mean? But that's like a proper stain. I don't know. How'd you get yourself to stop? Uh, smoking um when i started streaming i kind of just stopped like mm, kind of cold turkey i guess i like i just i just kind of stopped doing it i don't know because i was so sad and i i saw uh, smoking as as a little smug way to like be slowly killing myself in, in a sad way um I just really wouldn't, because I'd be like, you know, every time I, I smoke, I get closer to death, and it's, it's, uh, it's funny, it's, it's funny, well, at least it was funny to me, um, but when I started streaming, it was, like, kind of, it made me, um, want to try, and I hated how I felt about myself when I, when I, when I smoked, and, you know, everything about it, kind of that, that doomy mindset of, you know, like, and also I think now when I, you know, even like going there, people who are smoking, like, um, like sometimes, like very rarely when I go out, you see, or like you smell smoke and you're like, uh, that reminds me of a bad time. So I probably wouldn't go back, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, I think just having that change in mindset helped me. I know it's not like that for everyone, and I understand how hard it can be. It can be very, very, very difficult. And um, that's why I'll never judge people for smoking or anything like that. It's it's not people's fault, and people need that to cope. Um, and you, you don't never know what people are going through. Some people do it like what I did because they're sad, and it, it makes them feel better just for a second, you know. It, it's relaxing as well. Uh, I started getting into it. Um, Really, because when I started working, um, everyone would go on smoke breaks or like smoko, and and you just go with them, and and you get like a little bit of a break from work. Um, when I was um, doing kind of a traineeship, um, you were allowed smoke breaks, but you weren't allowed like breaks. So it's an excuse to have a break, I guess, um, or at least it was at the time, and that's kind of what got me into it. Um, it's like kind of, I guess, drinking in a way, like it's a kind of a social thing. Um, but I was very careful to like, obviously, keep myself kind of uh, washed and kind of well groomed for the animals. I don't want them to be kind of be around that. And then kind of as I stopped doing that, I, I just, you know, um, I continued it because I started getting very, very, very sad. Um, and um, the continuation was more so because I was just not feeling very good. And, you know, when you're stressed, you'll just do it because it, it makes you feel a little bit calmer or, you know, I, I started getting really anxious, so it helps. I quit smoking, but it has so many consequences. I became angry all the time and couldn't focus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's very tricky. That's a very tricky thing. When I was stopping, I was, I was very angry a couple times as well. I've never been, like really violent when I'm angry but I almost did a couple times when I was stopping because you get in that mindset where it's just like fuck I feel so stressed right now I mean I'm gonna go small again but you can't so it's like oh what am I gonna do to cope now I have to use actual coping strategies now <laughs> <laughs> All the high school kids here use those vape things. Oh, you know, the thing with vapes is it's just embarrassing. I'm sorry for anyone here if you vape, but it's embarrassing. <laughs> like, I feel like I'd be embarrassed. I don't know. I'd be very embarrassed. And also, it's got way more nicotine in it. I mean, there are free nicotine options. Um, But there's so much more nicotine in it. They get the children with the fruity flavors and the cool smoke things that you can do with it. And, and also you can, I mean, the, how I see it is like, obviously, I mean, I wouldn't kind of give a shit. 
um, when I was smoking because I just kind of ash on the floor, but like most people do. So, <laughs> um, but if you're vaping, you can kind of just vape anywhere, right? You can vape in bed um, and no one really gives a shit. You know what I mean? Is vaping worse than smoking? Yes, and people will make the argument that it isn't. Um, because there hasn't been people growing up with smoking, like, sorry, vaping, like how kind of we have with smoking. I mean, when I was growing up, we had the anti-smoke stuff, and I think all these children have grown up with it as well. Um, you know, recently, so like, oh yeah, vaping's fine, but like, you know, it's not, um... It can get you ad addicted to like nicotine and stuff. If anything, it's a massive waste of money and everything like that. And I think as more stuff comes out about the effects of it, which we aren't really sure of yet, um, hopefully it'll be kind of exposed for something that's dangerous. Um, especially like, you know, I mean, when, when smoking started, you know, it was seen as like a good thing. Uh, it was even like, you know, I'm sure you guys have all seen like the old like, um, ads for it, you know, doctors even saying that it's a good thing to do. So, you know, it, I guess as kind of things progress with that, hopefully more stuff will come out about it and, you know, people will start having the no vape ads, which I think will be very funny to say in the future. My old company had a company forum and one guy tried to get vaping in the office allowed. They just fought like the entire company about it. Oh my god, no, they need to fire him. That's just sad, I don't know. It's just, when I see kids doing it, it makes me sad. Because, you know, I guess when I was in school, the cool kids would smoke. I wasn't really smoking by that point. Um, I started smoking after high school, like really. And, um, but these days it's like, do the cool kids vape? That's embarrassing. I don't know. It's like, it's like you're like blowing bubbles. I kind of see it in the same thing. I will never judge any, like if any of you guys vape, I'll never judge you. But like, it's, like no one really thinks it's cool, right? No one like takes a big old puff of their vape and thinks they're like hot shit, right? Only Subaru drivers vape. I've seen people vape out car windows and stuff and it's funny. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if any of you guys vape. But, uh, I don't know. The only smoking I do is fake. Oh yeah, I like that. I like to, when, um, when it's cold and stuff, I like to pretend I'm a dragon. That's fun. Have you guys seen those, um, those, like, um, things you can eat, and they, um, they, they can, um, they can, like, uh, you, like, eat it, and it, like, puts the smoke out of your nose and mouth, like you're, like, in the cold or something? Yeah. Is this your roundabout way of, way of apologizing to shitting on weed bros? No, people that weed are stupid and have... I don't know, something wrong with them. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I won't hate you if you smoke weed, but I do think you're a bit stupid. And if, uh, and, and you know what, people are like, oh my god, guys, I'm so high right now. It's like, shut up. No one gives a shit. What are you, 12? Think you're cool for, like, smoking weed? I live in Australia, it's illegal here, but, like, it's still not, like, cool. It's like, okay, you're an idiot. You don't spend your money wisely. You you do stupid shit like that. I hope you enjoy your kind of um, lowering mental state. I hope you enjoy kind of, like, being a fucking idiot. I hope you enjoy being like, ooh, 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 like you've just like had a stroke or something. Like, is that is that fun to you? Is it fun acting ooh, like that? Is it fun? Is it fun acting like an idiot? Because you already are. <laughs> That's how they are. It's annoying. Do people in Australia really sniff gasoline? Yeah, they do. I don't want to get into that. I, I can't without getting in trouble. <laughs> I really can't. Weed is cheaper than Siggy's, healthier too. I hate this argument. No one gives a shit. It's still bad for you. Like, yeah, the thing is, the difference and the, the reason why people don't shit on, on people that smoke Siggy's is because people that smoke Siggy's are like, 
Oh, you smoke ciggies, it's bad for you. Yes, we all know. Like, everyone knows it's bad for you. No one's trying to debate it. Everyone knows it's bad. Oh, you shit on a weed, bro? Oh, God, but it's healthy. It's natural, man. It's natural. It's legal. It's like, shut the fuck up. That's why people shit on you. Shut up. No one cares. It's because you try to, like, make the argument that it's like, well, yeah, it's just a plant, bro. Calm down. It's just a plant. It's natural, man. So that's my weird voice. That's my weird voice. It's all natural. I talk like this because I talk like this because because my IQ has gotten lower from years of smoking weed, man. <laughs> no one loves me. My family has left me because I smoke weed all the time. I've stolen all my family's money on weed. Damn. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's my weed voice. <laughs> it's a healthy herb. It's a healthy herb, man. <laughs> it comes from the earth, man. <laughs> she. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I'm sorry. Ah. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Weed bros don't hinge. Like that annoying little shit in the. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Steinhead comes from the earth too. It comes from a it comes from fucking apple seeds. If I had a ton of apple seeds, I'd probably die from cyanide. Like it's like yeah, you know. I don't know. I don't know. If you really think about it, everything comes from the earth. If you really think about it. If you really think about it, everything comes from the earth. If you really think about it. If you really give it a good think, everything is from the earth. If I say it like this, oith. Okay, oith. Everything comes from the oith if you really think about it. <laughs> yeah. Everything that exists is natural. Yeah, exactly. Gasoline is basically a plant. If you really think about it, it is. If you really think about it. If you believe it. If you believe it. If you believe it, it's real. Oh, saying it's unhealthy, you could actually increase consumption if you consider the reason people start smoking is largely as a means of, elev of elev <laughs> a little bit evolutionary signaling. I'm too stupid, I'm sorry. But yeah, it could, it could, it could, it could actually. I mean, but the thing is, if you want something really unhealthy, you'll probably just go for smoking. I don't know. What if it comes from space? I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, that's a good point. That's a good point. If you really, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point, Champos. That's a good point. I like your thinking, thinking outside the box. Costly behaviors are honest signals of evolutionary fitness. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. Huh, everything comes from space. Are we really in space though? Are we really? Do you have anything to back that up? Like, really? Do you really believe it? Do you really believe it? I don't. I think I'm in my house. Nothing exists but where I've been. I don't know if it really exists. <laughs> if you want something super unhealthy. Huh? No, that's not good. Have you been to space? No. <laughs> space deniers. <laughs> I believe in Santa, but I don't believe in space. I also, you know what I also don't fucking believe in? And I don't know how anyone ha would ever believe in this. And I don't know how people just blindly just believe it's real. For some reason. Hot air balloons. Who here has been in a hot air balloon? No one. Who has seen one? IRL. Probably some of you. But they're projections in the sky. They're not fucking real. I don't believe it. None of you have. Okay? Why? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You know what? What if you need to pee or shit if you're in a hot air balloon? What are you gonna do? They didn't think about this. Doesn't make sense. It's just like they're space boats. They're weird space boats. I could pop it. I could get a little, like, a comical, like, little, like, no. A big slingshot. Like, with a big, like, pebble. 
okay, a pebble, I could boink it up at the sky and I could pop the air balloon and then everyone would die. No one thought about it. Doesn't make any sense. What about birthday balloons? Mm, I don't know. I've seen and been on one. Wait, did you really though? Did you really? Can you really remember it? Do you really remember it, Chan? We do you really remember being on one though. Like, did you? Were you really on one? I don't know. I don't know if you were, Chanfi. I don't know. I don't think you were. Pla planes are just teleportation machines. I mean, do you look? I mean, you, they kind of just sit you in there. I mean, what? Are you flying on the plane with it? How do you know it's really going anywhere? You could just. It could just be. It could just be like pr having a projection. Okay, you never know. You could knock out power to an entire neighborhood with a metallic birthday balloon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you really went on a hot air balloon, Campy. Have you been taking your medication? Uh, were you taking your medication? Were you, were you on something at the time? You know that you were on this hot air balloon? Is the hot air balloon in the room with us, Campy? Did it happen in a dream? Hmm? What? You know, Gamby, I think you just need to sit down and we can talk about, you know, uh, a lot of things about the hot air balloon. Um, you know, do you think, uh, do you think, you know, do you see this hot air balloon when you get stressed or, con or confused, Gamby? Hmm? We can get through this. It's just going to take a little bit of time, okay? Okay? And it's okay to lie as long as you're honest in the end, like about, you know, what you thought you saw. You know, everyone, everyone thinks sometimes they saw things that, you know, you were there. Champy, I think this was worse than I thought. You know, I'm going to call, I'm going to call a place that's going to give you some really good help, okay? Some really good help about this hot air balloon, okay? That you're seeing, okay? This hot, this hot air balloon that you're seeing, because I don't even know what that is. It's it's made up words to me. Air, like balloons are something you get at birthdays, Champy. Did something happen on your birthday? Do you want to talk about it? Was it with your dad, Champy? Hmm. Did something happen with your dad on your birthday that made you think about this? What if gas from hot air balloons make people hallucinate hot air balloons? Campy, I'm gonna write that down. That's a good point. Um, hot air balloon. Gasoline. I mean, have we really discovered gasoline and its many effects? What it can do to a human mind, you know, it, under its effects? I will buy a hot air balloon and take it to Australia. Campy. Campy. Listen, love you to pieces, but you just posted it twice. Are you okay? You know, we can we can sit we can sit and talk about this, okay? We listen, this is what I believe ha I don't think you're delusional, I don't think that anything's wrong. I think it's the gasoline from the hot air balloon or whatever you say it is, you know, it has gone into your mind and has infected you. But it's okay, I can I can I can just I can I can get you some help for this, okay. And it's okay. Mm. <laughs> it sounds like a load of hot air to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to make a fun and buy Kiki a balloon ride for my No! A balloon ride? Well, I'd die because there's no way, okay? I could, like, get, like, a massive projector. You know, I bet there's, like, buildings in every city i mean do you really see hot air balloons anywhere else but like in cities and stuff you know or like on farms in remote areas or like in deserts you know or in the savannas you know i bet there's one building and like ev like in a in like a radius that says its entire like job is just to project hot air balloons on special events like fireworks, but they're fake. Like a projection. 
they put up the hot air balloon. So if, and then there's like actors, there's actors like around to like make everyone believe that there's actually hot air balloon. So like imagine this, right? You're walking around in the city, okay? You're by yourself, you're scared, you're newly this, okay? You're newly this, but it's your birthday. It's your birthday and you're with your family and you're gonna get a hot air balloon, okay? <gasps> oh no, shiver me timbers, you lost the hot air balloon, you're late, okay? Look up at the sky, what's that? All the actors around you say, <gasps> what's that up in the sky? And little Jimmy, right? Little Jimmy, like the little kid, the little kid actor, who's gonna like be, like, get on drugs in the next like 10 years, right? And he's gonna point up in the sky and say, Mommy, look, a hot air balloon! And then you're gonna look up at the sky and see that projection. And you might think to yourself, is that even real? But everyone around you is like, yeah, oh my God, that's a hot air balloon. And then you look at it and like, yeah, you know what? I think that is real. It's a shame that we, that we were like, you know, we missed the hot air balloon that I was supposed to go in. But it's great that a family enjoyed that hot air balloon, you know, and uh, and everything like that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go home with my family and go to bed, okay, and forget about it. And then you walk kind of into, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then your mom's like, taxi, taxi. And then, and then you go into the taxi and the taxi driver will get some gasoline and put it on your face. And then you can be like, yeah, you know, I think that was real. And you go to bed and then you tell everyone else about that hot air balloon experience. Make everyone else believe that you really, you know, were like there. <laughs> So then more people believe in it. That's like how it works. And and this happens every day. I mean, hot air balloons get put out every day. Like little hot air balloon appointments for like special events and stuff. Sure, they happen all the time. You know, where everyone can watch it, okay? And these actors are hired all the time, okay? Yeah, yeah. Where are the cold ground balloons? Exactly. You, that really makes you think, you know. It really does make you think. It makes you think about why are they hot? Why are they in the air, you know? Why did they decide the air? You know why? Because the sky is a green screen and they can like properly like project the hot air balloon onto that green screen in the sky like more easily. You know, if you really think about it, how does the sky change like to darkness every day, you know? And how do you always see the moon no matter where you are? Yes, I know there's like a proper explanation for this, like scientifically. But I'm just going to say that it's a, like a projection onto a green screen. And the tower, like the, the hot air balloon towers that are projecting it onto the sky. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to like, yeah, they're, they're, proper, they're proper little things. Next thing you're gonna say the moon landing is fake. Now listen, I can't talk about that, but like, I think it makes all the sense. And I think if you guys agree with my ideology and my theories, I think, you know, I think, you know, I think we can really make some people believe in this, you know. I think this hot air balloon conspiracy is, you know, hot air balloons, just a load of hot air, question mark, okay? It could be like on billboards, I can see it on like the local newspapers, um, in the tabloids, you know, like in like, you know, the big like, um, screens up in like america you know how they've got like the big like green screens up in the air and stuff not up in the air sorry like in the like massive billboards and stuff like you can have it there so like they can be there too and then you can have like hot air balloons and then like in red riding a ton of hot air question mark and then and then you can and then, and then everyone can have a look at it and then read it and then everyone will believe and then i'll be like um you know, a rabbit princess forever. This is why I don't leave my house. I don't want to be indoctrinated with the sky green screen. That's why we're believers champion, okay? Us, us, um, us, us, like, kind of, I guess, um, non-outsiders. And, um, you, some of you guys that are just wages, but you spend a lot of time inside as well. Okay, we, we need to show the people that they've just been indoctrinated and get this out of them. You know, we are truly helping them to, you know, feel better and to feel more humble and to, you know, I don't know, 
feel feel a little bit better and you know kind of go back to normalcy a little um i have not seen the sky in years and i am better off for it exactly i'm glad that we can reach an understanding about this you know i think it's really important okay i think it's very important okay yeah <laughs> okay Whew. sorry i just whew. I'm just rabble rabbit or I'm just all rabble rabbit out. I don't know. I don't know why I just all, I don't know why I just was all like so sleepy that I was all so sleepy and kind of, kind of all out about it. Okay. <sighs> mm. I've not seen the sky in years and I'm, oh yeah, I read that off before. Oopsie boopsie. So I read that again. He's a rabbit and she's a lava. Yeah, true. You like my little background, by the way? You like the giggy star? I want to put you in here in the background, too. I think that would be nice. I think that's something that's missing. <laughs> time loop reading? Yeah, truly, truly time loop reading. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about what we're going to do tomorrow. I think we can um, finish the water temple. I'm scared that I'm going to get back into Ocarina of Time, though. And I'm going to be like... Like, two bad at it to be able to like kind of do it properly and then like next time i don't know i'm not gonna be able to finish anything <laughs> i'm really nervous about that like what if i can't finish it because i'm like too bad at it you know i don't know i don't know i don't know about it i don't know i'm kind of nervous and also like i'm gonna um i don't know after i think i'm gonna um I want to play Dawn of War again, but I want to do like a, uh, there's a couple of endurances I'm hoping to do. Obviously, we finished all of the two who games, or at least did, um, got to the end of them, um, all, with continues included, but I wanted to do an endurance and play them all from two to five, um, preferably with no continues completion, but I guess we'll see how we go. What if we all make a hot air balloon conspiracy theories calling them fake? Just how many, just how people, just how people thought birds are fake and snow was fake because it wasn't melting. Yeah, I think we could really start a thing. And then people could say that like our conspiracy is a conspiracy in, in itself. And we're all indoctrinating people. I think that would be kind of funny. <laughs> that would be kind of humorous. Be, be kind of funny. The birds are fake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna do this again. I am not. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? I hate to break this to you, but I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I have like a master's degree, like. With animals, I don't want to talk about specifically what it is, but like, because I don't want to accidentally dox anything, but like, I think I would probably know at this point, because I've worked with a lot of birds, um, and I don't know, I think you guys are stupid! Um, yeah, some have cameras in them, yeah, me, 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 I'm not a bird. I'm not a bird. Birds are real and they try to eat my food. Oh my god. Even like, even like seagulls and stuff. Seagulls are so foolish. I don't want to deal with seagulls ever again. They're annoying. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. I know, no. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. It's annoying. Yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking that. Will you play, um, Soulstorm? Mm, perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. I, I'm really, I, I really just want to play. I want to start with Dawn of War one, and then, well, I want. Well, we've, we've already, we finished that yesterday, but I want to replay it <laughs> already because it's fun. And I think now that I know a lot about strategy and stuff, and more stuff that I want to do, I, I think it'll be fun. I've also, um, not only really enjoyed using dreadnoughts but also in uh also enjoyed the uh the greatness of the land speeders i want to kind of use them more again and utilize them now that i know more about it um and also use different strategies uh, to like not just spamming space marines until like 
we're kind of done with it. I want to kind of be more strategic, see if I can make my time shorter to kind of go in two sections of Space Marines and go around. Honestly, the most difficult one was actually not the one near the end. It was um, kind of the more open one with uh, where you had to be using um, like turrets and, and stuff. Um, and like just, it's just very, very, very ghost. Yeah, I don't know, land speeder here. There's a very OG strategy called Stronghold. <laughs> no, I like the best marine one. You really should try playing other factions too. Yes, I do want to do that, but I want to play Dawn of War again first. Get very good at it. Um, and then we can continue with the other stuff. I don't know, it's difficulty. Because difficult because there's so many different things I want to do. It's just... Uh, I don't know, Space Marines are my favorite. I don't know, I don't think they ever won't be. I do want to learn more about Orc lore too. Unfortunately, I don't like Orcs, um, because I'm more of a Space Marine kind of gal, but like, I do find it very interesting how they come from like, um, fungi and stuff. I think that's very interesting. That's something that I want to learn more about. I think that would be really cool, yeah, to learn more about biology. I love the way they talk. Yeah, the way they talk is very good. Wow! <laughs> funny, funny. I wanna do better at my uh, my orc impression, Norfolk accent. When I, for some reason, put them in the same group as like the guy that's like. Yeah, kick some fucking goals. I, for some reason, I just feel like they should, they should, like, be playing soccer or, like, they, orcs would, like, you know, at, like, uh, I was gonna say, like, in the modern world, but really, like, back in time, I suppose. They'd be very great at soccer matches as, like, professional wars or, like, cheerers or something. Um, I think that'd be very cool. Yeah. Um, that's the ideal. That, that's the idea. They're based on football hooligans, literally. Oh my god, really? That's really fucking funny. <laughs> that's really fucking funny. They sound Scottish? Uh, no, more like Northern England, I think, personally, anyway. Yes, FIFA Warhammer 40k edition. I feel like that would be really fucking funny. That, I'm, I'm sure that's been done before, some kind of FIFA, like, like, mod or, like, something like that with, like, um... Auction it. You know, also, you know what would be really cool if there was like some kind of like Doom mod that's like Warhammer themed? I'd totally play that. I'd totally play some kind of like Warhammer mod um, in Doom. I, I think that would be really cool. Yeah. My two city other factions, like, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we're reading, um, I know it's like controversial or whatever because it's like, no, uh, I hate people like, oh, that's not canon. Me, 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 me. Like, no. But we're play. We're going to be reading more of like the Horace Hersey stuff. So I'm interested to learn more about everything about it. I think that's going to be really good and very fun. Um, there was some kind of American football game that had orcs. Fuck yes, um, oh fuck, what's it called? Yes, 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 yes. I, I heard about that. That's, that's a humble one. That's a humble one. Little bastard pinched me chips. My little, little seagull. Blood pot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I saw, um, fuck, where'd I see stuff about that? It's sweet, it's sweet. They, and I, I like how they're always like British. Like I love how orcs like in every game are like always British. I mean, you couldn't really, it wouldn't be the same in any other like accent. I don't know, it's just something about it. But uh, yeah, exactly like the, the football hooligan is like exactly kind of what they embody. I think it's very funny. Um, not because I hate like British people or anything. I just think it's like very funny. Aussie orcs? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't think it would fit that well. But maybe I'm just a fool. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fool. But I think that would be that would be funny. Yeah. Um. <coughs> nom nom nom. Yeah 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 yeah. Mhm. Mm Bogan orcs. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that would. 
<laughs> oh, from Boston, Texas? I don't know. Honestly, I think it's kind of funny how, like, Space Marines are, like, American and, and Orcs, are, Orcs are British. So that's very funny. But, um, I really, I really want the, uh, Space Marines to put their fucking helmets on. That's my, that's my, uh, that's my goal and something that I'll fight for. Put the fucking helmet on. <laughs> just put it on. It's just so stupid. It's just so fucking dumb. Like in the games, especially in the newer games, I've seen that. It's like, when you're painting the figures, they always have helmets on. Like, if you're playing the game, like, like the tabletop, they've got their fucking hat, like, hats. Hats? No, helmets on and everything like that. Like you, you don't wanna, you don't wanna see their face. I mean, nothing against their face. Their faces are like fine, but like I, I'd rather see it. Like it looks so much more cool. I don't know. It's like, for example, it pisses me off too. I guess aesthetically, it makes more sense. Like with uh, like women in in games, how they've got that like weird boob armor and stuff. Like it would never work realistically. I don't know if that's just me being like autistic or whatever, but like helmets look so cool and it's so much better. Like for like self insert or like kind of to relate more with the kind of the team of them. If if they've got if they're kind of faceless or if they've got like you know the 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 helmet on. Cause you, cause you can imagine yourself in there, or you can imagine yourself like kind of guiding them. It's cool. I like to imagine you guys are in there when I'm playing like Dawn of War. It's fun. But like when, when, when he puts, when they like put their fucking faces out, it's like, Ugh, just put it away. Can you put it back on? Like I don't want to see it. I don't know. Um, did you watch the Astartes animation? No, no, I haven't. I hate that. Real armor will go home. Yeah, I I like real armor. I think it's cool. I think it's cool when they utilize that too. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm a fool again. Maybe I'm a big fool again. <laughs> sniffle, snuffle. Sorry for sniffle, snuffling so much. <laughs> Uh, you should really watch it. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm snuffling all the time now. Oh, uh, good, that's bad. I need to do that to like clear my, clear my throat. <gasps> oh my god, no, no, I don't believe this. Hang on. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, Champy, that's so cute. Wait, hang on. I got a couple things I gotta add. There is no fucking way this is real. Wait, hang on. Hang on, look at this. Look at this champy. Hang on, watch this. There is no way. I don't believe it for a second. Hang on. No! No! Where did it go? Wait, hang on. Okay. <laughs> No, there's no way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Damn it, I don't believe it for a second. That's not fucking real. That's not real. Wait, where should I put it? <gasps> no, Champy! No, wait, what if I made it like super slow? <gasps> no! Look, it's in, it's in slow motion. No! Wait, look. Wait, look. Look, look, look at that, look at that. Wait, look. <laughs> Wait, look. No. <laughs> it's kind of cute in slow motion. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Where should I put it? Look at it, it's kind of intense with the music. Wait, I'll make it a little smaller. It's kind of intense. I don't know, it's a little, it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy, isn't it? It's a little crazy. Oh, crazy. Wait, look at this, look at this. <gasps> no, no, no. <laughs> That's cute. That's kind of cute. <laughs> That's kind of cute. And then thank you for the, thank you for the, thank you for the edit. Look, look at this. Hang on. Look at this. Hang on. Uh, da 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 da. Okay. No. 
See, look, it's an edit, so look, it's me. <gasps> Whoa, wait, hang on. <laughs> oh my god, what's this? What's this expression? What's this expression that I'm making? I don't I don't believe that's real. No, wait, come back to Christmas. Wait, no, no, no. What's this expression I'm making? Wait, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this expression? Oh my god. Wait, hang on, let me change it. But oh there we go. That's better. <laughs> That's better. That's cute. I like it. Look how cool I am. Thanks, Champles. I think it's so cute. Thank you for making these. Seriously, I show these ones to my mom. She she really likes the art style. She's always like, Kiki, look at the legs. Look at the legs. Cause like how that how you make like the legs um <clears throat> like stripy like my socks. Like it's so cute. Saying, Kiki, Kiki, look at the legs, look at the legs, look at the legs. <laughs> I can't. Your mom must be a fool, Kiki's. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. I really appreciate them. This is so, so cute. Kiki, Kiki. Hey. Hello, yeah, yeah. Ow, 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 itchy, 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 itchy. <coughs> okay, I'm not itchy anymore. I'm not itchy anymore. <coughs> I was itchy for a moment, please understand. <coughs> oh, see you later, see you later. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been I've been streaming for this long. I didn't think I'd be streaming for so long. Not that I've been streaming for like a long time or anything, but like I was thinking of doing like just like a 15 minute stream or something, just like fucking around, like wiggling my eyebrows, but then I ended up talking and I just didn't stop. I just didn't stop. I'll see you later, I'll see you later. I was itchy for a moment. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I sorry, I just got like a weird like flashback to like when I was when I was like kinda um like when I was little and my I'm like hang on, I'm actually she <laughs> when I was little my my dad used to say like when I'd get like itchy he'd like he'd say Oh he'd say like you're a scratchy cat. I don't know why. I don't know why I just like kind of Remember that he he has his like little things that he says. It's like funny. I don't know He's just got like these like, you know, like how I have my catchphrases like he's got his like own Catchphrases he's like yeah, you scratchy cat <laughs> <laughs> Like it's just stuff like that. It's funny. Yeah <laughs> Why am I a scratchy cat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. Yeah, I'm so rambly today I'm so rambly <laughs> Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I love that little uh, giggy thing you made. Uh, thank you. It's very sweet. Yeah, I'm rabbit cat. I'm rabbit cat. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sniffly. <laughs> okay, no more sniffle. I sn only sniffle a little bit, okay? I only sniffle a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little scratchy at, t at times. At times. But not, not at the moment. Only a little tiddly winkle, okay? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm probably gonna go soon because I need to sleep. When's my... When is my... Let me just have a little looksy wooksy because I want to know. I want to know when my next stream is tomorrow. Yes, it is in three hours. <laughs> great! 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 I didn't realize what the time was. I'm in a... Oh, four hours. This is three hours for me for some reason. Um, but yeah, great. I'm gonna have a great time sleeping. And before, oh my god, Kiki's gonna, Kiki's gonna sleep for so long, guys. Me, 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 me. My sleep schedule, no. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to like. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the thing is, like, I, I'm wanting to do like a, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do like a endurance tomorrow. 
Um, not not today, not today's stream, but tomorrow. So I don't know whether like it's difficult because I wish I could just like like do a um like a comfy Ocarina of Time stream, but I know because I'm in the Water Temple right now, it's gonna be a little bit intense. I, I assume so anyway. I mean, everyone like memes it to shit like oh the Water Temple me 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 me. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's harder for you to sleep in this in the summer jam. Yeah. No, th this time starts fine. It's just the last two days I've been so like sleepy. I I've been setting my alarms just fine, and and I sleep for a little bit, and then I just, I just I just wake up and I'm like, <gasps> and I, I don't know. It's just it's it's very weird actually. I just can't, I just can't sleep. Um. It's either I can't sleep or I sleep and like I. I just, I just don't wake up in time. I think the issue is, I set a timer on my laptop, like a, a, an alarm on my laptop, and um, and and the thing is, like, it's so easy to just like shut the lid of your laptop, like while you're half asleep, and then have the like alarm turn off, and then kind of you haven't woken up properly because you've just turned the laptop off. Like that's what I've been doing, I think, because I wake up and my laptop's shut. Either or my mom's been shutting my laptop, which I fucking hope hasn't happened. Um, because I'm gonna be very grumpy at her, but she 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 does that. She does that though. She she she, she like shuts my laptop. I don't wanna disturb you, Kiki Kins. Me, 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 me. It's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know. What's what day is it today? Is it is it Monday? Uh hang on, let me check actually. Um if it's Monday, I can just ask my mum to wake me up. I can just ask my mum to wake me up. I don't know. I can just ask my mum to wake me up. I'll just be like, Mom, wake me up, Mimi. And she, and she may wake me up. I don't know. I don't want to stab you, Kikikins. <laughs> me, me, me. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, if it's Monday, then I don't know. I'll just, uh, I'll just maybe ask her to wake me up. Yeah. Let's hope she doesn't, like, be like a pussy about it. She actually wakes me up. Sorry, I just kicked my desk. <laughs> Ow, my toe hurts. What the fuck? It actually like really fucking hurts. Why do I have to accidentally like stub it? It like hurts. It's like, it's like just on the very side of it. Like, I don't know what to do. On like, no, in like a weird way. I kind of just want to like cut it open. I don't know why. Do you guys get that sometimes? Like, I never do obviously but like you know when you get like a like something that hurts and you just want to like make it worse like because it's satisfying or like you get a bruise and you like kind of want to cut it open I don't know sometimes when I get bruises I just want to cut them open I feel like it'd just be satisfying like obviously it would hurt like shit but like it would be kind of satisfying yeah no not amputate not amputate <laughs> I don't want to amputate but uh <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to amputate my toe. That would hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, like, if I if I get, like, a bruise or something, you just kind of press it a little. Because it, like, I don't know. It's, like, because it's, like, a controlled pain. Like, it doesn't, like, really hurt. But it's, like, enough that it's, like, yeah. It's kind of nice. I don't mind it, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's silly. No, you have to cut my leg off now. Oh, no. Oh, no. What it, oh, no. What's it rabbit going to do? Wait. I need to look at it. It's, like, difficult because... I can't get a good like look at it because it's not. I feel like it's light enough. It's silly. I don't know. I just like. <coughs> a good thing is I can like hold it up to my face. I just don't know what like to do. You know, like I just want to do something about it. I don't want to like wait for it. I don't know. It's such a pain. <laughs> No, I, I'd, ra I'd rather not for good luck. Why would that be good luck? That's not even the right thing. If you have an in incessant itch somewhere that won't fuck off, just try it slabbing the absolute fuck out of... You mean stabbing it? You mean stab... You mean stabbing? Oh, slapping. Oh, slapping. I thought you, I thought you said slabbing. I'm like, what? And then... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I read your P's as B's for some reason. Yeah, slapping it. I don't want to, like, hit my toe, though. It would hurt. Because, like, the thing is, like, I've, <laughs> I've already, like, I've already stubbed it. So, like, to... to oh, I, I, if you're talking about an itch, I think so. I heard a good thing to do if you're, like, feeling itchy is just to, like... I mean, obviously, you shouldn't itch it more. 
But um, actually no, that's I'm thinking about something else. So apparently a good thing to do, like if you if you get embarrassed and you get like and you go like your face goes red, is to like bite your tongue a little bit because you kind of like concentrate on biting your tongue and not on like whatever's making your face go red. So like whenever I get like a little nervous, like with my like family and stuff, my my face will go red, like because I get nervous. I just bite my tongue and sometimes I do it like way too hard and it hurts. No, you don't mean hit your toe. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I know what you meant. I just, I don't know, I'm a bit slow because I'm tired. <laughs> I, it confused me for a second. I was like, oh, you meant like slapping, not slabbing. Yeah. But you can slap yourself. Well, if I'm like in an, in an embarrassing situation, I'm not going to start slapping myself. People think I'm insane and I already get scared that people would think I'm insane. I mean, that's why I'm embarrassed, you know? Like, I, I don't want to make the situation more embarrassing. I'm not about to like just start hitting myself in front of people. I would cut my tongue by doing that. Yeah, I do it like specifically with the part of my like mouth that's like a little fangy, like my little fangy tooth. Like I just kind of, mm, like it's the perfect chomp. It's the perfect chomp. It doesn't hurt too much. It's just a little bit. So I just sink in a tiddly winkle. And then because I'm focused on that, I, I don't have to focus on whatever situation is making me a little nervous. So then I can feel like a lot better. Yeah, I can feel like a ton better. Yeah. They will think you're cool. Yeah, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. How does she do it? This is prime time Euro, by the way. I might have to start fucking waking up at this time. I don't know. I don't know. It's difficult to figure out a good time that works for everyone. I know I keep like trying to change times or have a good time. I, f I feel like the time I'm doing at the moment is good for me. Because I think it's good for most people. Like it's it's probably good for Euros and Borgies, but I don't know. Sometimes I get nervous that it doesn't work, but you know, I think as long as I stick to a time. I mean, ultimately, I know most of you will like change your schedules around. From ow, I just hit my mic. Um, no, I I, I know that a lot of you will change your schedules around like to to help. But then I understand that like. Some, I know some of you like that could before can't now and I feel really bad about it But I know that I can't make everyone happy as well like rationally, but it makes me sad as well I don't want people to stop watching me because I can't catch my streams like but I also like can't You know make things great for everyone. So it's like ah no <laughs> Oh no <laughs> I don't know Yeah, um I definitely changed my schedule if it's a game I really want to watch. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, like, just like as like a routinely thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's difficult, but I don't know. I feel humble. So many time zones to cover at once. I think so. I think if I if I just do it at the same time, it should be fine. But it's just because I'm trying to like find my footing and, and something that works for me. It's it's quite difficult. But I don't know. I feel I feel good about my current time, which is like in a few hours from now. Anyway, um, I don't know though. I'm tired. I don't know if I should stream today or not. Cause I'm worried that I'm just gonna like wake up late and kind of ruin the groove of the day. But also, and also like, cause I got like a. I, I want to do an endurance tomorrow, but like, also like, I, I, no one's going to talk the whole day and I'm going to be sad and I don't know if I'm going to do it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with it, <laughs> but I don't want to make you guys feel bad or anything, I'm just saying what's in my head, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, I think I should leave this to my own head instead of saying it out loud. Me and my silly mouth are talking and blabbering again. Maybe turn it into an admin day. I think I should, like, because I was going to do thumbnails and stuff yesterday and I didn't end up doing it. Um, I'm a fool, but yeah. Why not I'm being a goose? I know I'm being a goose and like, I don't know. But yeah, maybe I should do some thumbnails and stuff. Maybe we can hang out in the, in the, uh, um, in the side tube and stuff or whatever, you know, but... Yeah, um, you should take the day off. I don't think I'll be, I don't think I'll be grumpy, but yeah. 
Um, I have very little time to watch streams these days. Just know that I love you all. Oh, thank you, Champy. Well, I'm glad you can watch me now, and I hope that you um, are able to watch as well. But don't feel like you have to or anything. I understand people get busy and, and life happens, you know. But I hope you know you can always come like back and, you know, check in whenever you want. Um, and I'll always be here, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you know that, Champ. Oof. Um, we all have doubts about ourselves, yeah. Yeah, and I hope you guys don't see it as like me doubting you guys or anything like that. Because it's certainly not that, of course. It's just me being a goose as usual. <laughs> as I usually am. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel humble though, anyway. Um, ow, my, my hand hurt. I don't know why it's stupid. And I feel like my tummy hurts slightly because I drank like apple. I, I drank two. Two, um, two boxes of apple juice very quickly, which is silly for me. I'm wondering though, obviously I won't be using this always, but like, do you guys like this BGM? Like, just for a little, little mix up, a little bit of a change, you know what I mean? I of course like my original BGM, but this one's alright as well, especially for like something a little bit more Christmassy. It's a blessing when I'm able to catch streams. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I mean, I obviously like my usual BGM the most because, you know, it's me, but like, I don't know, I like this one too. Hmm, it's very ebby. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm glad you like it. Yeah, as long as it's not too loud, well, what's wrong with it being loud? I need to make it real loud now. So you mean turn, turn it up? Oh, oopsie, as I moved slightly. Ah, there you go, that's better. A nice change of pace. I think so. I like a little little swizzly bit of change. It does remind me of RPG ba Maker Battles too. That's why I quite like it. Um, I've become a bit more shy over the past several months. I don't post and chat as much. I hope you don't think I'm left or losing interest. I still love you. I will always love you. That's okay, champ. Yeah, I, I understand. And um, yeah, I I see people like not talk as much and stuff like that. But you know, it's okay if you're shy or you know are nervous to talk. I have a lot of respect for the people that do talk, you know, I know, like, it's nervous, or, or like, nerve-wracking, I, I wouldn't be able to do it, certainly. I get too nervous doing that, I, I'm all, I'm really a lurker most of the time, and, and, um, even when, like, I don't know, when I talk in, like, I don't know, when, the, the times that I've talked in, like, other streamers' chats, I, I don't do it often, obviously. But like when I have and they acknowledge me, I get so nervous. Like I, so I, I can only imagine how nerve wracking it must be for you guys as well. Like so, don't think I'm like I feel like sad or anything about it. I totally get it. Please understand. Um, and if you only want to like post an emoji or something, or well, some of the time that's okay as well. Like, don't feel like you have to do anything to please me, um, or to make me feel like. Um, like validated or like that um, you know like um, like that you love me or to be reminded of that I know that you love me um, and I'm not gonna feel like sad about it or anything like because I know in my in my humble little heart okay yeah Gigi Chat is a fun place to be I'm glad I hope you guys like it here I certainly do you know what I mean um, might put a clock widget on your desktop to keep track of different champs regional times. I already do, I already do. Um, on my stupid laptop I've got like all different times from all around the world. And I'm good at keeping up my track of times as well, like a little bit. A tiddly winkle I'd say. Uh, for some reason my points don't appear in the thread, so maybe some extension broke. That's that's odd. I hope you're not banned. Haha. <laughs> Make sure you just refresh and stuff. I don't know. I'm not the CEO, but like, yeah, I, 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 uh, sometimes it can be a bit silly. Remember that time where it like shut down for like one day? So once, so the site shut down for like, not a day, but like a couple hours a few months ago. And like someone literally kept coming into my stream and saying put it back up put the put the site like like i thought they were joking at first but they sounded like and they seemed i realized like really serious about it like it was really fucking weird um <laughs> and it was like the only time they ever like yeah the only time they ever talked was to say like hey put the fucking site back up i'm like i'm not i don't run the site i can't 
<laughs> they were no, they they were at first, but they kept doing it, and I was like, no, stop, no, I swear to fucking god, they were being serious at the end there, because they kept coming in and saying, oi, like fix it, and I'm like, fuck, I can't fix it. I swear to god, at the at the end there, they weren't. Yeah. It was fucking scary. It was spooky. It's like the, it was funny and they like fucking kept going and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't do anything. Well, I can't. I don't run it. I can't do anything. I'm not going to like start like doing shit for free. Why the fuck would I do that? Have I got paid like monies though? Fuck yeah. But no, I ain't doing shit for free. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Some fool again? I'm not just some fool again, I'm a real rabber, okay? I'm a real rabber head. So you can't say anything to me. I'm a real rabber. From rabber headland, okay? I don't, I don't want it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's subsidiary of Funny Business Co. No, it isn't. Listen, Funny Business Co. has nothing to do with the site, okay? We are not affiliated in any way with the site. We're Funny Business and Co. We do run a lot of things and and stuff, but like we do lots of business. But it it's you know, I I I we do lots of business every day. But it's not that business, okay? I promise. It's funny business and co. We only do funny business. Not this stupid, what, yak shearing that you guys do over there. I don't fucking know what you're talking about half the time. It's a weird hacker group. I don't, I don't know anything about it anyway. It's fucking weird. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Funny business in co run. No, we don't. We don't. I don't even know what that is. What's Tooch? What's that? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what you're talking about. Huh? Based on what? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What's all this weird lingo you're using? What a weird. What a weird thing. The what? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. How would I know? I don't know about any of that. Listen, what you do in your bedroom, okay? Is that, you know, that sounds like some Chinese, some Chinese cartoon. I I'm not a fan of Chinese cartoons, okay? I'm not a fan, okay? I'm not a fan of Chinese cartoons. So I, I don't really know what you're talking about, to be honest. But, you know, I understand. But really, just not, you know, not a fan. Um, yeah, not a big fan of that. Sorry. Sorry, I know what you're talking about. I'm just a, I'm just a rabbit from Rabbitville, okay? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What if this whole time... <laughs> no, shush, shush. 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 I'm actually snacks. <laughs> It's, it's me, it's me, it's me. Like Home Alone, it's me, Snakes, but it's me, Snacks. Me, Snack. <laughs> it's me. It's true, do you really believe it? I'm back. I'm back, baby, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Does the Gigi enjoy sleep deprivation? Yeah. We do not forget. Good, good. Never forget. Never forget. Never. N e v a four. Like the number. Forget. Uh, the the number four again. G e t. Oh wait, yeah, four hasn't. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Die. Die. <laughs> Shut up. Die. Never forget five. 
I tried, I tried to draw, I tried to draw like a f fucking fan art thing of that, like, it ended up really bad or whatever. It was like years and years ago. That's when I like really tried out like digital art and then it just didn't work. And just, I tried it once and then I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do this again. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not like fan art, fan art, I just thought it was funny. Yeah, like with the hammer and everything. <laughs> I just thought it would be funny and I thought it would be like easy to draw too. And I just, nah. I tried to draw an outfit for the contest, it sucked. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is, it's hard. Cause, cause I, I like drew it on paper and then you like take a picture and you, and you move it to like paint or whatever. Like. You put it on your computer and then you try and put it, yeah, and then you try and like draw it and just can't. It's, it's difficult. Um, and I tried to use a mouse as well, so it was like double difficult. It was double difficult. <laughs> it was double, double tricky, you know? Proof, yeah, that is true. It's difficult because I actually really love the kind of aesthetic of a hammer, but I don't want to seem like a, like a weird, like, Jenny as well. Like I, I don't wanna s I don't wanna seem like that, but I like the aesthetic of it. You know I, you know what I mean? Just imagine how is drawing even real? I don't know. Like, putting it simply, it's literally just lines like on a page and then people do it and it looks good. Like it's weird how people can make so much stuff with that, but I just can't fucking do it. <laughs> Little girl of big hammer cute. Yeah, true, 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 true. Definitely, I agree, but I don't know. Sorry, sniffle snuffling so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that gift, Champy. I got my little gun. I got my little gun. Who would win New Rabble? <laughs> new Rabble. New Rabble. Of course, of course, me every day. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Mm. <laughs> yes, this hammer. Yes, the bad, the bad hammer. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. I love. I love how it looks, but just now. Mm. You know what I hate when people have. Oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you know what I also kind of hate when in people's designs, not to shit on anyone's design. I like the hammer, but I hate like the, the scythe thing, the scythe. Like how some people have like the scythes. Nah, nah, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Not really. It's like... It's like a, it's like you're taking a step towards like the whole succubus trope. Not that there's anything to do with succubuses at all, but like there's something about it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm a fool. They're pretty silly. I mean, I mean, they can look good, but like, I don't know. Just not, not a fan, really. Imagine liking sucky. Ew, no, don't root. No, don't, don't. I mean, like succubus VTubers. I, I don't mean like in general. I don't mean in general. I'm not talking. Just so you know, I'm not talking about this generally. I'm talking about VTubers. Okay. That's what I mean, okay? I'm not talking about in general. All? Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's just overused. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna probably go to sleep now. I'm sorry for changing stream time again, but I'll be streaming tomorrow and sorry for changing it again. I don't know, I'm intimidated to finish the water temple to be honest. Um 
But tomorrow we can hang out in SideTube and um... I'm gonna be finishing some stuff, like thumbnails and things. And um... We're gonna be doing a two -hoo, um... Uh... Thingy Majiki. We'll be either doing a two -hoo Endurance or we'll be doing a Dawn of War Endurance, either or. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I love you. I'm gonna have a snooze now. I'm sorry for starting this, like, video off so weird as well. The stream, I suppose. I didn't even have an intro thing. But yeah. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I'm sorry I'm a little sleepy now. Um, but yeah, I love you. I'll see you guys later, okay? Okay. Um, thank you again, everyone, for coming. And I hope, um, to see you soon, okay? Mwah! I love you. I'll see you guys later, okay? Remember, her air balloon is not real and you're out Bye. And, oh, again, I'm sorry for the likes of Macapellas. I've just been so nervous the last few streams because there's been more people and I get nervous. <laughs> Please understand, it's not because I don't love you or anything. I just get nervous. I'm sorry. I get shy. And yeah. Anyway, I love you. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yum yum yum. Hmm. <laughs>